The Moscow Mathematical Papyrus is an ancient Egyptian mathematical papyrus, also called the Golanishchev Mathematical Papyrus, after its first owner outside of Egypt, Egyptologist Vladimir Golanishchev. Golanishchev bought the papyrus in 1892 or 1893 in Thebes. It later entered the collection of the Pushkin State Museum of Fine Arts in Moscow, where it remains today. Based on the paleography and orthography of the Hieratic text, the text was most likely written down in the 13th dynasty and based on older material probably dating to the 12th dynasty of Egypt, roughly 1850 BC. Approximately five and a half meters (18 feet) long and varying between 3.8 and 7.6 centimeters (1.5 and 3 in) wide, its format was divided into 25 problems with solutions by the Soviet Orientalist Vasily Vasilievich Struve in 1930. It is a well-known mathematical papyrus along with the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus. The Moscow Mathematical Papyrus is older than the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus, while the latter is the larger of the two. <laughs> Exercises contained in the Moscow Papyrus The problems in the Moscow Papyrus follow no particular order, and the solutions of the problems provide much less detail than those in the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus. The papyrus is well known for some of its geometry problems. Problems 10 and 14 compute a surface area and the volume of a frustum respectively. The remaining problems are more common in nature. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ships part problems. Problems 2 and 3 are ships part problems. One of the problems calculates the length of a ship's rudder and the other computes the length of a ship's mast given that it is one-third plus one-fifth of the length of a cedar log originally 30 cubits long. <laughs> Aha problems Aha problems involve finding unknown quantities referred to as aha if the sum of the quantity and parts of it are given. The Rhind Mathematical Papyrus also contains four of these type of problems. Problems 1, 19, and 25 of the Moscow Papyrus are aha problems. For instance problem 19 asks one to calculate a quantity taken one and one half times and added to four to make ten. In other words, in modern mathematical notation one is asked to solve 3 2 times x plus 4 equals 10 display style 3 halves times x plus 4 equals 10 topic pefsu problems most of the problems are pefsu problems see egyptian algebra 10 of the 25 problems a pefsu measures the strength of the beer made from a hecat of grain. Pefsu equals number loaves of bread or jugs of beer. Number of hecats of grain. Display style m box pefsu equals frac m box number loaves of bread or jugs of beer m box number of hecats of grain. A higher pefsu number means weaker bread or beer. The pefsu number is mentioned in many offering lists. 
For example, problem 8 translates as 1 example of calculating 100 loaves of bread of Pefsu 20 2 if someone says to you you have 100 loaves of bread of Pefsu 20 3 to be exchanged for beer of Pefsu 4 4 like 1 half 1 quarter malt date beer 5 First calculate the grain required for the 100 loaves of the bread of Pefsu 20 6 The result is 5 hectare. Then reckon what you need for a des jug of beer like the beer called 1 half 1 quarter malt date beer 7 The result is 1 half of the hectare measure needed for des jug of beer made from upper Egyptian grain 8. Calculate one half of five hectare, the result will be two and a half. 9. Take this two and a half four times. 10. The result is ten. Then you say to him, 11. Behold. The beer quantity is found to be correct. Baku problems Problems 11 and 23 are Baku problems. These calculate the output of workers. Problem 11 asks if someone brings in 100 logs measuring 5 by 5, then how many logs measuring 4 by 4 does this correspond to? Problem 23 finds the output of a shoemaker given that he has to cut and decorate sandals. <laughs> Geometry problems Seven of the 25 problems are geometry problems and range from computing areas of triangles, to finding the surface area of a hemisphere problem 10, and finding the volume of a frustum a truncated pyramid. <laughs> Two interesting geometry problems Topic. Problem 10 The tenth problem of the Moscow Mathematical Papyrus asks for a calculation of the surface area of a hemisphere struve, gillings, or possibly the area of a semi-cylinder Below we assume that the problem refers to the area of a hemisphere. The text of problem 10 runs like this. Example of calculating a basket. You are given a basket with a mouth of four and a half. What is its surface? Take one ninth of nine, since the basket is half an egg shell. You get one. Calculate the remainder which is eight. Calculate one ninth of eight. You get two thirds plus one sixth plus one eighteenth. Find the remainder of this eight after subtracting two thirds plus one sixth plus one eighteenth. You get seven plus one ninth. Multiply seven plus one ninth by four plus one half. You get thirty two. Behold, this is its area. You have found it correctly. The solution amounts to computing the area as area equals two times eight nine two times diameter two equals Two hundred and fifty six eighty one diameter two 
Display style text area equals left frac two times eight nine right carrot two times text diameter carrot two equals frac two hundred and fifty six eighty one text diameter carrot two This means the scribe of the Moscow papyrus used two hundred and fifty six eighty one approximately equals 3.16049 display style frac 256 81 approx 3.16049 to approximate pi topic problem 14 volume of frustum of square pyramid The 14th problem of the Moscow Mathematical calculates the volume of a frustum. Problem 14 states that a pyramid has been truncated in such a way that the top area is a square of length 2 units, the bottom a square of length 4 units, and the height 6 units, as shown. The volume is found to be 56 cubic units, which is correct. The text of the example runs like this. If you are told, a truncated pyramid of 6 for the vertical height by 4 on the base by 2 on the top, you are to square the 4, result 16. You are to double 4, result 8. You are to square this 2, result 4. You are to add the 16 and the 8 and the 4, result 28. You are to take one third of 6, result 2. You are to take 28 twice, result 56. See, it is of 56. You will find it right. The solution to the problem indicates that the Egyptians knew the correct formula for obtaining the volume of a truncated pyramid. V equals one three H A two plus A B plus B two Display style V equals frac one three H A carrot two plus A B plus B carrot two Where A and B are the base and top side lengths of the truncated pyramid and H is the height. Researchers have speculated how the Egyptians might have arrived at the formula for the volume of a frustum but the derivation of this formula is not given in the papyrus. Other papyri Other mathematical texts from ancient Egypt include Berlin Papyrus 6619 Egyptian Mathematical Leather Roll Lahun Mathematical Papyri Rhind Mathematical Papyrus General Papyri Papyrus Harris I Roland Papyrus for the 2, N Tables C RMP 2, N Table <laughs>